So have you ever uploaded a YouTube video only to find out later you forgot to edit something out? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you step-by-step step exactly what you need to do to be able to fix that. Let's get into the content. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to the video that you wanna do your edits on. Now, once you get to that video, I want you to go to the video details, which is this little pencil symbol right here, and I want you to go ahead and click on that. Now, once you click on that, it's gonna bring you right here into the video details, and right over here with all these tabs, I want you to click right here to where it says editor now right here you can see we got the trim and cut tool we got the blur tool which allows you to blur out anything you want in the video and then right here we got the audio tool and then we got the end screen tool and then we got the info card adder now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with the trim and cut tool I'm gonna go ahead and hit this plus symbol real quick okay so as you can see right here we got these blue outlining right so if I click on this blue outline and what this allows me to do is adjust my video to start it wherever I will want to right so I Obviously, that's the hook right there and then boom there's the action now this is a strategy that I'll share with you right and I've shared this on this channel once before but basically what you could do is let's say for instance you got a video right now and you notice the performance within the first 30 seconds just sucks you could start the video where you notice after that 30 to 40 percent drop you'll start to see where it'll start to creep back up very high so I'm gonna show you an example so you can get a visual the beginning of my video it starts to drop like crazy like literally 30 40 percent and then then as we get closer to when the video is about to actually start like the action you're going to notice it starts to creep all the way back up literally up to the 80% mark and then it kind of evens itself out right but that doesn't always happen but in, in situations like that you will want to adjust it to where they start the video right here just straight into the action that way you increase your audience retention now if we go back into the trim and cut real quick I'm gonna go back into it and then let's just say that that was the case and we wanted to adjust it into to where okay boom there's the action so the video will start right here so that's the front of the video so the second part of the video which is the back end I can adjust this as well now you want to be careful with this because you know you don't want to have your video ending abruptly because that that's usually not good all right so then after you do that you can come up here and you can hit save and you're not gonna lose any views you know you don't even got to worry about that right just go ahead and hit save and then at that point YouTube is gonna let you know when it's good to go and then that will be the version moving forward now let's say for instance you don't like the version that you know once it once it's done and they render it and all of that good stuff you don't like it you can come back here and say okay well I don't like this I want to go back to the original so you can see right here it says revert to original and then boom once you click that it's gonna take it back to the original video just how you uploaded it from the start so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, discard changes real quick and I'm gonna show you how you can do a middle cut so if you want to do a middle cut you'll go ahead and hit hit the star and then you will go ahead and hit new cut now you can see we got this red in here right so what I could do is let's say for instance I want to cut out a certain part of the video that's in the middle well I could adjust this like this and then I can't really see this right let's say I want to zoom in I come over here like this zoom 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 and then it's literally gonna go frame by frame and then you'll be able to see it and then all you got to do is just go ahead and hit cut and then hit save and then boom that part is removed all right so I'm not gonna do that here in this video although I've used this tool multiple times to do the the exact strategy that I shared with you a little bit earlier in the video all right so I'm gonna go ahead and hit discard changes okay now the blur tool this is how you use that you go ahead and click on this plus symbol again and then they got the face blur but they also got the custom blur what I would recommend you do to make this process a whole lot faster is to go with the custom blur alright so you can see right here they got the blur shape so you can either do a rectangle or you could do an oval you see how this this right here changes that's basically what that is so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the rectangle real quick and then you can see it says blur behavior so if you want to track an object while it's moving throughout the screen it's gonna process the face and it's gonna continue to follow it around and then then right here this is to fix your blur position however you need to do it if I click on this I can adjust this to do whatever I want right I can make it big I can make it small whatever it is so I'm just gonna go with that and we're gonna go ahead and put this over my face so you can see what it looks like all right so at this point if I wanted to keep this all I would do is just go ahead and hit save and the same thing applies over here if I want to revert back to the original I could do that all right so I'm gonna go ahead and hit discard changes on that and then we're gonna go to the audio section so the audio section if I click on the plus symbol you can see these are all little songs that are already on YouTube so you don't have to worry about any copyright or anything like that 
All you got to do is just go ahead and click on add and then you're going to see it add right here down below. And if you don't want that one, all you got to do is just go ahead and hit remove and then hit the save button and you're going to be good to go. Now the next thing, let's go ahead and hit on back and then you got the end screens. It's just like when you upload your video, but if I click on it and I hit edit, then now I could just add end screens directly from the YouTube editor, right? Same kind of process as when you upload a video, they just allow you to do it in here as well. All right. And then another thing we could do is we can add info cards. So I would go ahead and click on the plus symbol. I would hit video. If I want to add a video, let's just say I want to add this video to it then boom, you can see how it just added that right there, right? So now that you know how to quickly edit out your mistakes after uploading, YouTube thinks you will want to watch this video next. So go ahead and check it out and hopefully they were right. See you over there.